What's up everyone, it's Mike from Flight Club. In this video, I'll be talking about battery chargers. The past year or so, I've been using the Venom Duo Pro. It's an AC-DC dual port 80 watts per channel charger. It's a good charger, but it's starting to show its age. So, I got the ISDT D2. This charger is a big step up from the Venom, and I was satisfied until I saw this beauty. This is the Hobbymate D6. You can tell the Hobbybait made the D6 to compete directly with the D2 because the specifications on the D6 are just slightly better than the D2 just by a little bit. The D2 has a 2.4 IPS color LCD screen. The D6 is 2.8 IPS. The D2 has a max charge current of 12 amps per channel. The D6 is 15 amps per channel. D2 max discharge current is 5 amps. The D6 is 15 amps. The D2's max um, balance current is 1 amp. The D6 is 1.6. The USB output on the D2, whoops, over here, is uh, 5 volts at 2 amps. And the D6 is 5 volts at 2.1 amps. And you can tell the D2 is slightly bigger and a little bit heavier at uh, 3 grams heavier than the D6. It's as if the D6 is taunting the D2 by just edging out the specs by just a tiny bit. So the biggest difference between these two chargers is the power. Both chargers have a max power of 200 watts when using AC as power source. But that's where the D2 stops. The D2 can only take AC power. The D6 is an AC-DC, here AC and then DC, and by using the DC power, the power output is a whopping 650 watts. That's 325 watts per channel. Just for reference, at 650 watts, you can charge about 23 4S 1500 milliamp batteries at one seat. 200 can only do about 8 batteries at once um, if you're using one of these balance ports that lets you charge multiple batteries in one port. Um, you may never need to charge 23 4S batteries at once, but the power rating becomes important when you need, when you need to charge bigger batteries at higher currents, um, like 6X, 6S packs quickly. Also, with the ability to use DC power, it makes the charger much more versatile because you can use different power sources like a 12 volt cigarette socket, um, you can hook it up to your car battery or even just use a bigger LiPo to power um, the charger to charge smaller batteries. I really like that these chargers have a USB uh, output. I'll show you. Because you can, with this USB output, you can plug in like a little LED light that comes in really handy for when you're um, working on your quad, like in garages or at nighttime. Or you can just plug it up to, um, you know, like a USB charger for your phone or whatever. And then this, the D6 has a really cool feature where if you have a phone that is, um, has, has wireless charging capabilities, you can put it on top of the charger and the charger will charge your phone. I really love the size of the D6. It's small enough to fit in the side pocket of the Low Pro Quad Guard backpack and not even notice it. The menus and functionality on both of these chargers are very similar and very easy to use. Um, say I'm going to charge a, a 1300 4S pack. You're just going to plug it into whatever channel you want to use. And then the D6 has a little channel selector button. So you just select the channel you want to uh, uh, charge so it says channel 1 here push the button down and then on the top you can select the action you can charge discharge uh, extended discharge I guess store or balance so I'm just gonna charge and then select your battery type as you can see the D6 can charge pretty much any kind of um, battery you want to charge even any loop batteries so I'll just select lipo you can select your cell voltage you can select the cell count. It goes from 1S all the way to 6S. And then you can select your current. I'm charging a 1300 milliamp pack, so I'll just 
charge it at 1C at, at uh, 1.3 amps and then push start task. And then from here you can scroll through the different screens here. It's showing you the individual voltage of each cell in the battery. I'm using a 4S so it's showing you four different um, voltages. And then you can scroll over and then if you wait a little bit it'll show you the internal resistance of uh, each cell in the battery. And then this screen is kind of like a general uh, charger um, setting. And then if you push this, you can, you know, set the channels of channel, uh, the settings of channel two if you're charging two batteries at once. Go back here, it shows you both screens. If you have another battery charging, it'll show you um, the settings there. And then to get into the main menu, you just press and hold the button. Oops. All right, so task, uh, from here you can just select whatever you want to uh, select. Just go in here and just play around the settings. The Hobbymate D6 retails for about $150, which is a little bit more than the D2 at $130. But just for the ability to take DC power alone is worth the extra money. So if you're looking for a small, portable, powerful AC-DC charger, I highly recommend you checking out the Hobbymate D6. So as always, thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe.